Hey, it's Rob. Thanks for stopping by. Well, this is part two of my acoustic guitar kit build. Um, well, today I'm going to test fit the neck, sand the neck, and glue it on. And if I have enough time, we're going to put the truss rod in it and glue on the, uh, the fingerboard. So let's get to it. Okay, according to the instructions, we need to test fit the neck to make sure that the heel of the neck fits flush on the guitar. So we're going to take the um, dial pins and put them in here. Slide the neck on to make sure it fits nice and flush. And it does. I don't know if you can see. It fits flush all there. It's flush there. It's flush on the front. And it's flush on the back. So, Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back off and I'm going to sand it a little bit um, because I'm not going to paint the neck. I'm going to um, put some uh, oil on it and make it really smooth. I don't want to paint it with any lacquer. So uh, let me pull this off and then uh, we'll get some sandpaper and sand it up. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm going to start the process. I'm not going to film the whole thing because I'm going to be sanding on this a little while. Um, I like these uh, sanding sponges. You can get these online. You can get them at a woodwork shop. This one is uh, 320 and 240 and I'm going to go up to like a thousand grit and make this really smooth. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm just going to leave this natural. I'm not going to stain it anything. When I put the, um, the oil on it, it'll darken it up a little bit. So uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sand it and make sure everything is smooth. The heel and everything. And I'm going to do that up to about a thousand grit, make sure it's really smooth and then we're going to glue the neck on. So let me do that. I'll come back and we'll glue it on the body. Okay, I got the neck sanded. I got it sanded all the way up to 1200 grit. I went uh, 320, um, 800, then I went to um, 1200. It's really, really smooth. So uh, when I put the finish on it, it'll look really good, but that's later. So now we're going to glue the neck on it. I'm going to take my dowel rods and glue them in. Slide her on. I'm going to take my strap and go around the guitar like this. I'm going to center it up. I'm going to take a piece of wood and I'm going to put it right here so I don't mess up the body. I'm going to tighten it down. Okay. Okay, we'll let this dry overnight. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll test fit the truss rod, make sure it fits, and then glue the fingerboard on it. Okay, it's not the next day. Uh, I was reading the instructions, and I need to go ahead and epoxy the truss rod into the neck because it's going to take about six hours for it to dry. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that while I'm waiting on the glue to dry for the neck. So let's go ahead and do that. All we have to do is just put a little bit of epoxy down into the um, neck. And then take and set the neck, uh, the truss rod in the neck. And push it down. Okay, I got the truss rod epoxied in. I'll let this dry overnight. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll put the fingerboard on. Okay, the neck that I glued on, it's been sitting on here for several hours, like four, five, six hours. The truss rod has been in there for about four hours, five hours. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and glue on the fretboard. And then tomorrow, 
everything will be dry and that way I don't have to glue the fretboard on, wait another day. So we're going to go ahead and do it now and everything will be ready for the next step tomorrow. So let me get uh, everything set up. We'll come back and glue it on. Okay, uh, we're going to glue this on. Okay, well, um, according to the instructions, we need to count down to the 14th fret, the 14th fret right here. And we got to line the 14th fret up with the um, section right here where the neck meets the body. So you want to take that 14th fret and put it right there, right there where they meet, and line it up. So that's how we're going to do that. Let me uh, put some glue on it and um, hope for the best. Okay, now line up the 14th fret with the seam at the neck and the body. Make sure that the neck is on there straight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a twist tie or a zip tie and I'm going to zip tie the front down. That'll hold that. And then I'm going to put one in the back. So when I line up the neck, it'll stay. Line up the neck center. Center. All right, that's pretty straight. We'll take this block. We'll take a block right here. And I'm going to clamp the neck down. Okay, got it all glued down on there. I just go and wipe off any excess glue, let it dry till tomorrow, come back, and we can uh, go on to the next step, which is going to be um, gluing on the nut and uh, lining up where the bridge goes. Okay, I got all the clamps off. It's glued up. The neck's glued on real good. The fretboard's glued on real good. Um, everything went really smooth. And uh, But while this was drying yesterday, I took some of that medium brown dye and I put it on the sides because I wasn't liking the yellow stripe down the side. It just didn't look good to me. So it looks a whole lot better now. Um, the yellow is not as prominent. It's still there, but you can't see it as good. Uh, and I like that better. So anyway, today what I have to do is mark the bridge position and glue on the nut. Okay, now we got to set the bridge position. So I got the bridge position template here. And we're going to set this on the fretboard and we're going to do this before we glue the nut on and put some tape down on it because we need to mark where it goes. We'll put the template together. Like that. Make sure it's square on the fretboard. Hold it down. Take a sharp pencil and mark it. All right. Now we're going to take the fretboard, I mean the uh, fretboard, the uh, bridge, and line it up with the mark that we just made. And then mark it. And that's where the bridge is going to go. Now I got to get uh, an X-Acto knife and cut that out. All right, I got my X-Acto knife. Um, we're going to take just very lightly cut right on the line that we drew. That 
is where the bridge is going to go after we um, do the finish on it and I'll peel the tape. Down. Okay, we got that set up. Now what I need to do is glue the nut on. So let me get that and we'll come back and glue it on. Okay, I got my nut. And obviously the flat side goes towards the fretboard. This is the curved side. Um, and we're just going to take, I'm going to take and put a little bit of glue here and a little bit on the bottom like that. And then center it up. And there we go. Hold that up for a few seconds and it'll be dry. All right, I got the nut on. Okay, that's it for part two. Uh, I got the neck on, I got the fretboard on, got the nut on, I got the bridge position uh, set. So the next thing I need to do is I need to sand the neck on the side because the neck is a little wider than the fretboard. So I've got to sand that down and then clean it up and I can put the finish on it. But that's going to be in part three. So I appreciate you watching um, and we'll see you on the next one. Hit that like and subscribe button while you're at it.